have you guys been seeing what's been happening with Fuzi? Fuzi has been going absolutely wild. And again, this is all on live stream. This isn't him telling a story. He's live streaming himself in an airport. Such a bad person. I'm such a dickhead. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm a great person. I can tell. <laughs> how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm so good. It's a cult, basically. I'm not. By the way, whenever whenever you meet a girl and they start giggling like that, you don't even know them. Be careful. Either wrap up, run away, or look around. <laughs> Decide one way or the other. If a girl, if you just meet a girl and she just starts giggling like that, weirdly enough, just starts giggling. <laughs> Wrap up, run away, or look around. <laughs> I swear to God. <sighs> but I've got a feeling Fuzi is one of those fucking Alhamdulillah guys. You know what I mean? He just fucking goes in. I don't think he's one of those guys that wraps up. He just, he, he, he just fucking, you know, hope and pray. Pure vibes. <laughs> Imagine just bumping into some random woman you don't know and just bare back in her in the fucking toilet. Can you imagine how much of a fucking horny savage you have to be? Anyway, let me stop play, pause the video. Let's just play it through so you can hear it. It's fucking wild. You're in a cult? Yeah. You're sober? Yeah, well, okay, no. Cool. <laughs> I have a Discord, right? Mm -hmm. With like 8,000 members. Can I send them a picture of me and you kissing? Oh, yeah. To piss them off? Thank you. They're gonna cancel me for this. I don't care though. I have a boner right now. I swear to God, you can feel it under my pants. I swear to God. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. You see how he smiled when he kissed her? You see how he smiled? You see how he smiled? Like, he was super proud of himself. Like, he, he smiled, right? He smiled at the camera, like, as if he was fucking kissing Sweetie or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, he managed to fucking lips down Jessica Alba or some shit. Like, he was really, like, what? Like, he was really happy. Like, he, he hasn't kissed anybody in a while or something, yeah? He was so chuffed. Honestly, <laughs> america is another america's fucking interesting place and again think about this right for my american friends and out there this doesn't look like a bar that's in like let me take let me take this the chat away for a bit look look behind the lady this doesn't look like a bar that's um you know like when you have a bar in like a what do they call it is it a lounge right where, where if you have like points where you can go like the, you know an airline has like a, a specific little private place where you can go and kind of drink it's kind of like away from everything this is just a regular bar that you have at the airport just regular the ones that people everyone's kind of walking by and they're there at the bar fucking sucking each other's faces off does this happen quite often yeah in the terminal exactly does this up this is do, do, do some of you guys in america when you're like you know walking around the airport looking for your gate do you sometimes glance at the bar and see some random strangers just like you know sucking each other's faces or like some woman jacking some guy off under the fucking table or something is that usually what happens because in my head if i'm going to the i've never actually drunk i've never actually drunk inside of a airport bar before i don't think so ever i've only maybe ever got a drink on the on the flight itself maybe a whiskey or something but I'm thinking if I'm going to the airport and I want to drink, I just want to drink on my own. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm already nervous about my flight. I just want maybe a drink to settle my nerves, to make me feel sleepy so I can fucking, you know, so the flight can go by quickly. I don't know. It's not a place that I'm thinking about hooking up, like ever. <laughs> Especially given how random it is too. Like, it's, I don't know. One day you might see people that look your age. Sometimes it's people that are all over the place. I don't know. It's just interesting to me. This is just a standard bar in the terminal. And Fuzi's out here really fucking risen up this woman. Rising her up super hard. Let's continue. You had a good time. Actually, what are you guys saying here? Nah, I've never seen that. Ucha says, no, this doesn't happen. <laughs> this is just, I always make it I, with a baddie at the airport, says Brandon. Yes, big up the airport baddie makeouts. Like, we love that. We love that. No, this is not American occurrence. LOL, says Johnson. <laughs> that guy's clearly ash 
uh, okay, I'm not going to say that. Fucking crash, you fucking motherfucker. You nearly got me taken off of fucking YouTube there. You see what it does to Jamie Foxx, mate? I'm not playing no games. <laughs> Coyle says, I can see it's happening in Chicago, Midway or Baltimore. I spent, uh, which is, I spent $750 drinking at the airport one Christmas. I was stuck at Miami Airport. Wow. Yo, you went ham. $750, $750. Hope you had a good time, bro. I would have fucking just, I would have just jacked the bottle. There's been plenty of times I've been in the airport, walked past a, a bar and thought to myself, if I just l hopped over and just got a bottle of Grey Goose, would anyone notice? But I'm sure they would. I'm sure the alarms would go off fucking like, like as if I was in, you know, as if I fucking, you know, jumped over the gates of a nuclear fucking factory or something. It would go fucking crazy. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, would you join the Mile High Club with me? <laughs> um, so I got, sell I got sold into the sex trade. You got sold in the sex trade? I actually care about this shit because I'm like an advocate for like against sex trading and all that shit. What happened? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep stopping this, right? I'm sorry to keep stopping this. But ladies out there, I swear to God, if <sighs> women, please, women, please, women, please, if you meet a man who tells you after you tell him that you're a victim of sexual, uh, you know, sex trafficking and shit, that he's an advocate for sex trafficking, <laughs> like as a way to riz you up, please see that as fucking purely disingenuous nonsense to try and get in your pants. Come on, man. That is so cringe, so pathetic, so embarrassing to say. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I'm an advocate for <laughs> for female reproductive rights or some shit. It's like, what does that even mean? Just saying all these buzzwords to try and get me hot and horny. Oh my god, man, Fuzzy, man, you're a fucking psycho. Anyway, let's continue. I won't stop it now. Let's continue. Um, he was trying to make me a lot looser recently. A what? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, so I get it. Uh, uh, first of all, thank you for sharing. I appreciate yeah. you being this honest. This is a real conversation. No, it's real. It My audience it might not day. understand, but I've been there. I used to be a sex addict, so I used prostitutes I for years. Um, I used I massage parlors for years, so yeah. I understand. Yeah. How long were you stuck under his spell? Uh, about six, like seven months. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. Look, I just sent I you a little something. You I went. It. I went to. His, he, we had a, a. Well, he had a domestic violence case. I'm sitting there in court, and I'm like looking. Is this tricking, or 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 is he is he paying for pussy, or what's going on? I like to think to my. I like to think of myself as being quite street smart. Is this woman a lady of the night also? With all due respect, is she like one of those? Is she one of those kind of like you know back page ladies or something? Is what's going on here? Why is he sending her money? Is this an exchange? Hmm. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen, and I just got I, my heart started racing. I'm freaking out, I'm crying. Because this girl is saying all the things that he said to me. Yeah. And I'm sitting there. He's having me sit on his side in the courtroom. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. Hey, to everybody who's sitting here, like, oh my God, you kissed her, da da da. This woman was involved in sex trafficking. The guy who manipulated her and brainwashed her is a piece of fucking shit and deserves to die. So yes, I sent her $300 so she can start removing her tattoo and see her kids this weekend. I'm against that. I'm a sex addict. A lot of the women that I used to get hand jumps from were se uh, sex trafficked. And I'm so ashamed in that. So if I have a chance to help somebody... Oh, fucking hell. And then it switches. Look, they turn the camera away, and he and he runs back. Hear him running with his fat feet. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just joined the Mile High Club, <laughs> and I know it doesn't count as the Mile High Club because I was. In <laughs> He's smiling. I'm not gonna lie, guys. When I saw the video for the first time, maybe I'm fucking. You know, I'm too naive and too much of a fucking shy Christian boy. But I honestly didn't know what the Mile High Club was. I had to fucking Google that shit. I didn't know what the Mile fucking High Club was. And then I realized, oh, that's fucking code for them fucking in the fucking toilets. Absolutely insane. The fact that he would just randomly <laughs> start fucking this woman that's clearly um, fragile, right? Clearly in a spot that, you know, he basically did the same thing. Did he basically do the same thing that she said she suffered from in a weird way? She said some guy took advantage of her because she was in a vulnerable state. And then he said he's an advocate against sex trafficking. 
But then didn't he do the same thing? <laughs> didn't he basically take advantage of her in a way? No? Or am I bugging? I know she's obviously game for it. She obviously looks like she'd had a good time also. They're giggling. They're laughing. I'm not, you know, I'm not taking any autonomy away from her. She's not, you know, she's obviously a fully functioning human that was able to fucking buy a, a plane ticket, able to get to the airport on time, able to order a drink. I'm sure she had a good time. But there's a part of me that thinks, hold on. Didn't you complain about this sort of activities and now he's doing these activities to you? in order to get into your panties. God almighty, bro. In the airport, but I still joined it. I swear to God, I swear on everything I love. I swear on everything I love. I just joined the Maha Club in the airport, in the men's bathroom. I swear to God. Walla, walla, I had to confess. I couldn't hold it for a fucking second. I didn't go to buy her no fucking snacks. I joined the Mile High Club. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have shared that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm lying. I'm lying. By the way, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a huge joke. It's a huge joke. It's a huge joke. I'm typing I'm sorry in chat. It's a huge joke. It's a huge joke. You got pranked. You got pranked by Fousey too. You got pranked by Fousey. And I got exposed from that. I'm not a good person. I love the breakdown at the end. I love the breakdown at the end. I'm not a good with all the fucking twitch emojis and shit, right? All the bit emojis, whatever they are. Like on <laughs> underneath him as he's fucking opening up his heart. <laughs> I'm not a good person. <laughs> I wish I had weed right now. I wish I had. Uh, and the and the text underneath. I'm sorry, y'all. I fucked up badly. You probably fucked her badly in there. She. <laughs> I have a lot of skeletons in my closet. I'm not a good person. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Fuji is a fucking savage man. I don't know what the fuck that was all about, but that was absolutely insane. Oh my fucking god, man! Seeing these people fucking. Oh, uh, the kiss was probably one of the most vomiting things I could ever see in my entire life. I actually want to rewind that so I could show you it again because that legitimately made me want to vomit in my mouth seeing these motherfuckers like touch lips. Um, yeah, let's just put that screen. This <laughs> that was <laughs> legitimately one of the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. I swear to fucking God. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. Fuzi's going absolutely crazy but just imagine covering this thing like some of the things these guys do for content I feel like these guys deserve an award I feel like they should be like a Grammys or an Oscars nomination or an Oscars type of event where you actually reward streamers especially IRO streamers for the lengths they go to to entertain their fans because if you're a fan of Fuzi or you just like to watch car crashes he's a really interesting guy to to watch legitimately He's an interesting person to watch. He's better than any fucking Nanny Day Fiance, any fucking Love Island, any of that fucking shit. This guy is real, raw, psycho shit. I mean, he's probably suffering from some sort of mental health issues. Maybe it's just a personality defect. I don't know what it is. But his ability to constantly put himself in positions where he embarrasses himself or he makes a fool of himself, where he's kind of almost self-destructive, like self-sabotaging. I personally feel like it's so fun to watch. I swear to God, I love that shit. I don't know why that shit makes... That, that shit gives me a boner. Forget this fucking, you know, random fucking you know, airport lizard, right? Sloshing him up in an airport. What gives me a boner is seeing people who seemingly have everything but choose to just piss it up a wall. I fucking love it.
because it's so counter intuitive it's so counterproductive it doesn't make any sense to re rational regular well-adjusted civilians like you and i you know oh uche is saying please change the frame <laughs> okay 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 i apologize i apologize <laughs> now i'm saying sorry you know now i'm saying sorry <laughs> like boozy <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i'll be like that guy in court because i'm sorry judge i'm sorry oh my god i swear to god this shit makes me so fucking happy to watch i love this shit i get fucking horny watching this shit i swear to god watching people absolutely make fool of themselves in public on purpose you know with their full chest on hd in 4k 1080p or 4 or 360p like i have on the screen right now i love it i fucking love it i swear to god there's something about me that's super weird i don't know if i am maybe who said who says i'm gonna say this in the chat someone said i'm gonna say this i might be a say this i'm not too sure but there's something about me that definitely kind of gets off on watching people make absolutely fools of themselves because i just sit there patiently and watch it all unfold it's absolutely fascinating i love lo it's like it's like a cloud k20 i love chaos i love watching pure and utter chaos i loved you know what i love um I was going to say, actually, one of my favorite subreddits to ever check out. I'm not too sure if you guys are know of it or if you're familiar with it. My favorite subreddit to check out is, guess what? It's, um, oh, um, fuck, I forgot the name of it now. I'm doing a Brendan, my favorite subreddit. It's like, basically, the, the theme of the subreddit is posting videos where everything seems okay. And then in a second, everything goes crazy. So it's like someone walking down the street and then suddenly out of the blue, a car tire flies off of the car and then fucking flies into the face of some woman and then hits a window and then hits a kid and then the building falls down or some shit. You know what I mean, I love that shit. I don't know why. Like, I think it's called like instant, car not instant karma. I think it's like instant man. I forgot the name of the subreddit, but I sometimes check it out. I fucking love that shit, honestly. Maybe total chaos. I'm not really sure what it is, but seeing fucking Fousey Tube, you know, in this airport, like with his fucking like look at this guy look this is a screenshot from the whole video you can check out the video if you're on youtube it's available now um the title is called fuzi takes advantage of vulnerable girl she comes back with messy hair full full interaction right that's the video that's the title there you can see the full thing yourself but look at this guy he's such a freak like look at this look at this look at that he's got a tattooed hairline or a tattooed headpiece right his whole headpiece has been tattooed to make it look like he's got you know a hairline and shit like the eyebrows right the nose the face her like it's just a mess i love this shit like look at this no reality tv show could replicate this scene nothing could replicate these two fucking characters bumping into each other at the airport think of the chances of both of these people who are clearly in you know weird places in their lives meeting each other in an airport crossing paths of each other can you imagine to the point where they're swapping spit and you know adult liquids and shit can you imagine <laughs> oh i fucking love it anyway anyway i'm not gonna make you guys more ill but the thing i love the most about it of course always when this shit happens you know what i love the most about it the icing on the cake for me the little cherry on top is the fucking notes app apology the notes apps apology for me are uh, one of my favorite parts of social media, especially when people do anything crazy online. And of course, Fuzi came through with a fucking banger. Not only did Fuzi come through with, you know, big blocks of text explaining what he was trying to do and rationalizing it and asking for forgiveness, he also included a nice little piece of NFT art picture here that he put at the bottom here, just in case you forgot what he looks like. Let's read his, let's read his fucking apology because this is absolutely great, 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 great TV. Right, so this is Fuzi's fucking apology to everybody. Dear G7, hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that opening line just gets me. Dear G7, hi. Who <laughs> starts a sentence? Have you ever seen someone start a sentence like that? Dear and then hi. Dear Agostino, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sentence is that? <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, honestly, I swear to God, I need to calm down. 
Anyway, let's continue. Dear G7, hi. As you know, I've been live for the last 300, uh, 300, 36 days, 24 7. We've had ups, we've had downs, but we've pushed through no matter what. Nothing and no one stopped us. Well, I've been <laughs> neglected by health. <laughs> i love it right you get fuck you broadcast yourself on your live stream voluntarily um you know uh rising up some very vulnerable young woman <laughs> in an airport to the point where she opens up to you and tells you she had suffered from a very traumatic experience being sex trafficked and assaulted and all this sort of shit you take that as an opportunity to then rise her up so you can get your dick wet and then you come back on the internet and tell us that you're not well <laughs> okay bro okay um maybe go to a sexual health clinic can i don't know and let's continue not going to the gym not drinking water <laughs> see i tell you plenty of times when i do this podcast sometimes i say sometimes some guys when they're thirsty they should you always drink water first and then try and you know see if you feel the same way about the person you're trying to first over usually a glass of water can quench most bits of first but sometimes you can be really thirsty where no man of water will quench your first you just need to fucking send that dm you need to fucking double tap that picture or whatever i get it but i think most of the time if you actually pour yourself a nice glass of water and just sip on that it gets rid of the first from my experience anyway not drinking water not sleeping properly not eating a clean and constantly moving at 1,000 miles per hour, or 105, whatever it is, um, it's time to slow down. My close friends and family want me to go check in at the doctors for a mental health eval and to go see my therapist. I assure you I'm fine, but I'm slipping. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. What does fucking Mohammed or Islam have to do with this, man? They're probably looking at us thinking, like, why do you get me involved? You know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, like, leave us out of this shit, man. Alhamdulillah, this time I have real people in my circle who can pull me up when I'm slipping and help me up and not cause me to spiral. I've been a version of myself sometimes that I don't recognize. I've been mean, angry, aggressive, rude, selfish, ego-driven, and to be frank, a bit manic. I'm on all the medication and still pray five times a day. <laughs> okay okay alhamdulillah i just need a little rest <laughs> i'm headed to the doctors now and stream will be on pause screen until i get the okay from my family and friends g7 and the doctors i love y'all this whole movement is too precious for me to give up or stop now god gave me another chance at life and i oh my god this is brilliant and i uh got a got another chance of life and i have to learn how to play with the cards that have been given to me not just try to add in the cards from my pocket what i have to learn how to play with the cards that have been given to me and not try to add in the cards from my pocket okay cool fuck you know that's something he heard his mum say or something, isn't it, right? Um, I thank each and every one of you for supporting this journey. Even if you don't like me, this isn't content. <laughs> this isn't YouTube or Twitch. This is my real life. I'm living my life on camera 1,000% authentically. I'm not perfect, but neither was a prophet. <laughs> neither was a prophet, Muhammad. What? Who's a prophet saw? um i love you i'll be back shortly g7 flame emoji basketball emoji oh my god honestly i love fuzzy man fuzzy for me is one of the most entertaining people i've ever seen in my entire life he is legitimately streaming and youtube royalty and of course at the end of that long two-page notes app apology he includes a nice um you know ai generated picture of himself looking like a king um you know looking amazing doing what he does best with the purple and shit popping out there with a crown on his head and shit oh you gotta love fucking Muzi. you gotta love fucking Fuzzy tube you have to like him but yeah let's see how this plays out um i think the lady in the end she got 300 dollars from Fuzzy via cash up then Fuzzy put his ca put her cash up in her um, put her cash up in his chat or whatever it may be and then his chat ended up sending her two thousand dollars more so she got a pretty decent lick 
So maybe Fuzi did pay for the experience for two hundred dollars, whatever it may be. But she got an extra. She got a very decent tip on top of that. So you know, she felt a bit of the tip, and then she got a really decent tip on top. So I'm sure she's not complaining. But what an insane thing to broadcast to your legions of fans with no encouragement. You know, like legitimately, no one asked for this. No one needed this. And he put it out there and now, you know, it's on the internet forever. So you have to thank Fuzi for that, I guess. You have to thank Fuzi for that. 